Hey guys, today we are making up these stunningly delicious loaded nachos using the Magico's food processor. So let's begin by describing some of its features and functions. This FEP6 model has a beautiful die-cast aluminum housing which mirrors the image of most modern-day laptops and makes it durable and elegant. Impressively, it has a powerful motor and the simplicity of two speeds, simply low and high. For detailed and more precise processing, you can turn a counterclockwise to the pulse position. I'm particularly impressed with its large, durable 14-cup bowl that meets my demands and will probably meet yours, too. To begin processing is easy, simply slip the bowl on the housing and rotate it to the lock position. The same process applies to the top, place it on and lock. The chute itself is one of the largest I've come across which makes it incredibly functional and processing is just a matter of inserting the large chute and locking it down. Looking at the pusher in a little more detail, it does have two sides, one side for pushing larger objects such as potatoes, etc. The other is an independent well which would be used for carrots, celery and other vegetables. It too comes with its own pusher. Next up is the base of the drive shaft, which seems to be really, really well made. Then the drive shaft itself, along with the chopper blade. The chopper blade is easily detachable and the unit does come with a dough blade. The dough blade attaches exactly the same way as the chopper blade, although I didn't use it in this video, I've used it in other magical food processors and it works really well. And now for the part where I would consider Magico's having engineered to the art of perfection. A single blade holder. I don't know how many different food processors I've had that come with five or six different discs only to be lost or misplaced. Thank you, Magico's. The unit comes with five different blades, first of which is a French fry cutting blade. It's made of heavy stainless steel and it's a really aggressive blade, which you'll see later on in the video. The second is a core shredding blade for carrots and I use it for cheese as well. Again, it's made of a heavy stainless steel and very, very durable. Next up, the fine shredding blade, which is great for frozen cheese, garlic or ginger. Basically for anything you want just about minced or really finely shredded. The core slicing blade, which is fantastic for cucumbers or anything you want widely sliced. And last but not least, the fine slicing blade. I used it for jalapeno peppers and it worked absolutely superbly. And here's where the magic happens, or shall I say magicos. First, grab up the blade holder. You easily slip the blade into the holder, it locks down and you are ready for slicing. And of course you do this with any of the five blades. Again, reviewing the process we talked about before, put the bowl onto the unit and simply slip it into the lock position. Put the blade and drive shaft over the drive mechanism. Place the top on and lock it down. And set the food processor to low, high, or pulse. If you don't want to use the chopper blade and want to use the cutting blade, simply remove the chopper blade, take it off the drive shaft. Place the shaft back in. Insert the desired cutter blade into the holder. Then set the holder over the drive shaft lid on and lock down and of course you're ready to cut and slice another thing that did impress me about this magical's food processor is the length of the cord it's about three feet long another thing that came packed in the box is a detailed instruction manual along with a quick guide and i found this really important i must say incredibly helpful too and as a bonus in the back of the manual you will find what i consider to be 15 or 20 reasonably good recipes. Now we have covered the food processor in some detail, let's go ahead and make up those nachos. First, by placing a layer of nachos onto the bottom of a plate, and I'm using restaurant style nachos here. Grab up our core shredding blade, which we talked about earlier, and place it into the food processor. Slip our top on. Grab up some yummy old cheddar cheese into the chute, plunger in and press it down and in this case I'm going to use speed one then a uh, shredding we will go and check this out I think it really did a good job 
Oh, and I forgot to mention that this food processor does come with a spatula. And I mean, doesn't that look shredded, guys? Now let's grab up some of that ever so tasty and tangy cheddar cheese and put a layer over those nachos. Another layer of nachos, after all it is stacked nachos and you can never get enough of them. And of course, you guessed it, another layer of that cheese. Next up, in with half an onion that I've quartered up, now I'm going to use the chopper blade. And just go ahead and chop this up. You guessed it guys, we're going over the top of that cheese with those grated onions and this looks so good and you might want to use Spanish onions too or a red onion, they're a little bit sweeter. Now I'm going to reach in my pocket and grab that fine chopping blade, well not really my pocket, slip our jalapeno into the chute, turn the processor on and of course chop 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 chop. Now look at those jalapenos, so finely chopped, they're razor thin. And I know, I don't even have to say it, jalapenos over top of the cheese and onion. Looking good, at least to me. Next step, chop up some red bell peppers that I've taken the seeds out of. Good job there, magicos. Now that's getting a little concerning because I'm talking to my food processor. Of course, those red bell peppers over top of the jalapenos, cheese and onion. And guys, if you want to take a few moments just to comment below what you put on your nachos. And if you like this video so far, give us a like, if you feel so inclined. Now the non-food processing part, I'm going to grab up some medium salsa and put it over top of everything. Of course, you could make this yourself, but it's just a little bit easier to buy it. And it's pretty good. Let's pause for a moment and try that French fry cutting blade simply by placing the blade on, putting the disc onto the shaft. Slip the top on, you know the drill by now. And I'm using a fairly large potato, so I'm gonna lift the whole lid up. Slip the potato in. On with the food processor, and just look at this chop, guys, isn't that something? And I mean, there's a lot of spots and a few bad parts, but Ed did a good job at chopping anyway. Okay, back to the nachos. Just look at these guys. Don't these stacked nachos look incredible? But we're not done yet because we are going into a 375 degree oven for about 5 or 10 minutes. After about 5 or 10 minutes, guys, there are our nachos. And don't they look absolutely spectacular and good enough to eat. Now, of course, I'm going to spread some green onions finely chopped over top of the nachos. And I must admit, I did use a knife for these and not the food processor, but you could probably use it too. And there you have it, guys. Our loaded nachos done with the Magico's food processor. Life does not get any easier or does it get any better. There must be a song for that or something. I don't know. I'll look and see. So the link to the recipe and all the details and links to the food processor will be in the bottom of the video in the description section. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Oh, enjoy your nachos. And your food processor. Hungry for more? Subscribe.